The Japanese government is poised to release information about the accident at Fukushima Daiichi that it initially withheld for fear of causing panic. The undisclosed data pro projects the spread of radiation from the nuclear plant. It's generated by a computer system called Speedy. The data predicts the release of radioactive substances based on measurements at various locations and weather conditions. A joint task force run by the government and Tokyo Electric Power Company says about 5,000 undisclosed pieces of data will be released starting Tuesday. The information will be posted on the websites of Japan's Science Ministry, the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency and the Nuclear Safety Commission. The Secretary General of the Joint Task Force says the information was withheld because some data were based on overly rigorous assumptions and might have triggered panic. What the fuck was going through your head? What did you think was going to happen? We now think that even if the information is shocking, panic can be avoided with our proper explanations. What the fuck? You we sincerely apologize for the delay in releasing the data. The operator of the troubled Fukushima nuclear power plant has decided to send workers into their number one reactor building as part of its efforts to cool the reactor. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, increased the amount of water injected into the number one reactor on a trial basis for two days starting Wednesday. It wanted to test the feasibility of its plan to cool the fuel rods by covering them with water. But because TEPCO could not determine the water level in the containment vessel, the company needs to install a water gorge. TEPCO also says filling the containment vessel with water won't be enough. The company is considering installing a heat exchanger that cools the water inside the reactor, though that plan would require checking pipes for damage. On Monday, the firm will start preparatory work to install a device that can reduce radioactivity by filtering the air in the building. We plan to reduce the density of air contamination in the building by about 95 percent and expect to start cleaning the air in five days. TEPCO says its workers will install the device in the reactor building within a few days. It will be the first time its workers have entered the building since the hydrogen explosion on March 12th. Wonderful. Wonderful. It would be a step forward if TEPCO can install the devices to reduce radioactivity, but the company will still need to establish a system to steadily cool the reactors. And TEPCO says it has detected an increase in radioactive material in seawater samples taken near the Fukushima plant's number two reactor. The utility firm says it detected 130 becquerels of iodine-131 per cubic centimeter in samples collected near the reactor's water intake on Saturday. The figure is 3,300 times the national limit and 30 percent higher than the level detected on Friday. It's the same site where the iodine-131 was detected at 7.5 million times the limit on April the 2nd. TEPCO says it detected cesium-134 at 120 times the limit and cesium-137 at 81 times the limit at the same location on Saturday. But the readings for these two substances were down for the third straight day. TEPCO says it's continuing to monitor the levels, though it does not believe there's been a fresh leak of highly contaminated water. Following the accident at the Tokyo Electric Power Company's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, shareholders of another Japanese electric company say they wanted to close its nuclear plants. On Monday, the group of 232 shareholders of the Tohoku Electric Power Company submitted documents for the proposal, which is expected to be put to a vote at an annual shareholders meeting at the end of next month. Tohoku Electric has two nuclear plants in Japan's northeastern region, one in Higashidori village in Aomori prefecture and another in Onagawa town in Miyagi prefecture. The group is also calling on the firm to stop investing in spent nuclear fuel reprocessing businesses, including a reprocessing plant at Rokkasha village in Aomori prefecture. Group representative Hironori Shinohara noted moves by power companies to introduce additional safety measures amid the Fukushima plant emergency. But he said accidents never happen under the same scenarios and stressed the importance of closing the plants. 
A Tohoku Electric official said the company takes the disaster extremely seriously and will examine the proposal and submit it at the shareholders' meeting with comments from board members.